Moon OS right now. Um, I just installed this. I have not installed any other applications, so everything you see is default. This is what comes with it. Now, Moon OS is kind of a hodgepodge of Ubuntu derivatives and Ubuntu. Um, if you go for IRC help, it actually opens up in Linux Mint. Um, if you go for repositories, it installs via the Ubuntu repositories, or Debian repository, however you want to call them. So, um, what's different about it? It comes with pre-installed codecs, so you can say it takes Patreon Mint. Um, it comes with Flash and a few other things, but it also comes with programs that aren't normally installed. Um, but we're taking a look at this as a new user, someone who's trying out Linux. So we'll see how well it really does. Now, this includes some applications that a lot of Windows users that are power users that would be switching to Linux or trying out Linux should know if they are looking for free or cheap alternatives for software. Now, let's see. Well, as you can tell, you have some uh, animations like you would on OS 10 on this sidebar here. Probably from what I can tell, let's see, the Firefox GIMP. I like the fact that Thunderbird's for install. I use that over pretty much anything else. Um, Open Office. I have Pigeon instead of Empathy. Exhale. Now, I know what this is, but someone might not. Uh, basically, what this is is a Amarox program that's written in GTK, is about the best way to put it for Linux users. Currently, I don't have any music installed on that, so we will just kill that. Let's see, you got Synaptic, you got your terminal, uses Thunaw for light Windows management. Nice, very uh, Nautilus like. Downer battery. Okay, so let's see. You got your menu on the bottom, kind of like you do in Windows or KDE or Gnome if you change it. So you got your favorite. Applications in the first one. You got your <coughs> where your applications are divided up like you would in GNOME. You got a files place for you know, all your folders and stuff. You got a run command. And then you have your desktop. Uh, let's see, desktop is what you want. I wonder how many desktops you can set. Uh, you want to find out? Let's see. Whole rows. Well, you can get 144 virtual desktops if you really want. I have no need for that many. So we'll bring this back down. Oh, no. Four. And I'll close that. Let's see. Anything else? Any other applications? I don't know from a Windows perspective. Screenshots from right here, you got message usage, also computer scan utility, Java web site comes pre installed, you got Brasario, movie player, you got your pulse device chooser by the ball, which is cool. Um, open office and system tools include Moon Assist, Control, Grub. Moon software, which is basically Mint software, and Pi Negro, which is wireless stuff. Now, seeing how I've used this distro before, one of the things I do like is in the themes and wallpapers. I'm currently not online, but basically, you have an online option like you do in KDE. So you just hit online, it goes to integrate it into the program. And you can download right from here whatever theme you want. That also applies to the wallpapers and stuff as well. And there's some really cool stuff that are coming out of uh, for E17. Um, let's see what this uses for system. Now, remember, I'm running on limited resources a gig of RAM and a two gig processor. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 
you go to settings, system, just one. Now some of the stuff is not all organized right. Um, if you go to settings, they're not listed alphabetically, so there's kind of a hodgepodge, so you have to actually look. But right now, it is using 15% of the processor and 124 megs of RAM. That's a pretty lightweight GUI. And it has some panache to it. You also have widgets and gadgets or whatever you want to call them to install. So, there are a few problems um, that I haven't shown you, but I haven't used this before. I do know what they are. For example, defaultly, you have to interpret what these pictures mean. Uh, for some people, that's pretty easy. I have no problem with it, but some would. They're not written and described what is hibernate, what is sleep, what is restart. So, that's one thing. I can't see that. Another thing that was present in 9.04, the pulse issue with other programs. Say you went and had a Skype conversation. Then you tried to play something in Flash. You would have an issue with it not shutting off one of the other feeds. So, in a sense, you had to restart. Kind of a pain in the butt. So if I had to rate this distro, I would use it to say it was somebody that would have to like to take it. So, um, if you like to customize say no, go ahead and get this distro. If you don't like customizing, um, go elsewhere. <laughs> um, so, the pros of it are customability, the light, it's lightweight for older systems like this, it's great. Um, but there are some issues, um, Pulse is being the biggest one. Um, some of the UI stuff is kind of a kludge. Not saying it's horrible, but it's not perfect either. You know, some stuff's not alphabetized, so people have a harder time finding it, like in the settings. Um, I love the fact that there are certain applications that you normally don't get, like Mozilla, Thunderbird, and a few other ones. Um, but I can't recommend this for everybody. So I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's a great place if you love the tinker. Comes with all the codec, comes with flash. Now remember, this is 904, so this is at the end of its life. But as a live CD distro or a live USB distro, it would be it's a great way to test it. This is running in live hardware. So rate it, subscribe it, you guys know what the hell.